I mean, I know in, in I think it was 89 in the Euro Tour, there was the, the fight with Jim Troy that supposedly was the reason for that initial departure. But that only lasted a few months, correct? What actually went down out there? Well, it was just, it was, uh, we was in a, in a restaurant bar and at the time Ben was been out, we would, we just come back from a show or whatever. And then, so here, there was nothing else open. So we all went down to this bar and they served food there. And some of us had a few beers and stuff like that. And, and, uh, you know, just, just hanging out and Jim Troy and Shawn Michaels got into it. And at the time I was over kind of like they had a piano over there in the corner. And I just, you know, I, I love music so much and I was just kind of hitting, hitting around on the piano. And, and uh, so the waitress came over and told me, said, do you mind going over there and, and straighten your guys out or, or talk to your guys? Cause they look like they're getting ready to fight over there, you know, and they was, and I look, I said, I turned around, I said, what? When I turned around, uh, I went over there and I said, man, those guys was that nose to nose and all that stuff. And, and that was, uh, 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 Vince's, uh, president, you know, and he told him, Jim Troy said, Troy was going crazy. He was talking about, uh, the wrestling business. They spit all in Shawn Michaels' face and all that. Talking about, you know, Vince McMahon, he pays me a lot of money to uh, to put up with you, you babies and all that stuff. And he said, I'm a hockey player. You know what? I, I, I'm tough. I'm a lot tougher than you you guys are. You know, you know, said, you know, I said, I never seen a bunch of babies in my life and all that stuff. And uh, so he was just, him and Sean was just back there, and he was just just shoving on Sean. And what you gonna do? Come on, you you wrestler, come on, you wrestler, come on. And uh, so I I came over at that time. I walked. Up, I said, "Come on, guys, and hey, we can't do that over here. You know, we're in another country and stuff like that." Actually, we, I think was we we're on our way to Paris, and uh, and they got. And he turned around and looked at me. He said, here's another f phony ass guy, whatever. And I'm going, I said, come on, Troy, don't, come on, let's, let's, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to be nice and, and everything. I'm still, because he haven't did anything to me. I'm just trying to stop those guys. And he, he turned around and said, well, well, if he don't have no guts, cause I I just shoved him and shoved him and all that stuff. I'm gonna see if you got any guts, and he haul off and slap me. And then when he haul off and slap me, of course that was that was that was all of it. That, that was that was the end of the that was the end of the dance, man. And uh, and I and I said, you know what, Troy? I said if he won't fight you, I will. And I lit into him. And I almost, I cut my hand on a piece of, on a bottle, on a, on a beer bottle. Just when I went down, I, had, I landed on a beer bottle and it, it crushed. And the boy just stabbed me, right, I mean, just right in the palm of his hand right now. I still have the mark. And I would, and, uh, and I whooped Troy in that bar. I whooped him and, and, uh, and finally he got up. And he ran out the door. I was so mad. He jumped in the taxi, and I was running behind him, trying to catch the taxi. You know, <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I went, and then uh, after a hotel was up the hill, so I went and got uh, Marty Janetti, and I told Marty what happened. Sean didn't fight. Didn't he? Said he, Troy was spitting all over, slapping them around, and all that, and didn't. And uh, Sean wouldn't even fight back. And when well, Marty got upset with Sean, and that's when Marty paintbrushed <laughs> Sean when he saw Sean. What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? Why in the world did you didn't fight Troy back? You know. 
But then we get a phone call. We go to Paris, get a phone call. Vince McMahon, Troy done went home because his wife just flew over and she saw Troy and Troy was, he was black and blue. He was black and I was. And they put them back on, she back on the plane. And then and that, that night, Vince McMahon called me. And Vince was all upset. He was going crazy. What the hell are you doing? You know, beating up my executive and all this stuff. And, and Vince was just kept going and going on and, and stuff like that. I said, Vince, can I, can I at least get, uh, tell you what, can I tell you my part? It's two sides of the story, Vince. Can I say my part? He said, yeah, go ahead. And I told him what happened. He said, well, if he slapped you and all that, I said, you know, it's still, Coco, I can't have you you guys try to beat up my executive and all that. And then my executive, my executive is trying to beat up wrestlers and all that stuff. You know, I just can't put up with it. Say, so, you know how, you know, you, you really, you really did him in. I said, you know what, Vince, he's going to do me in. I said, you know, I said, what? I said, Vince, let me ask you one question. I said, if someone slap you, Vince McMahon, what are you going to do? You're going to be like Jesus Christ? You're going to turn the other cheek or are you going to go after? Him? And everybody can't, it's not going to be like Jesus Christ. Most people won't. And I said, you know, and I said, I, I hated it, but it wasn't my fight. Is it wasn't my fight at all. You know, it just, it just, and, and I, and I hate it for Troy and I don't hate Troy and Troy, I, I am. And I want to apologize now that I'm sorry that we got into it. And, uh, and I hope that we can be the best of friends, you know, mm -hmm. I'm done with it. That was, that's, Hey, that's, that's over with. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's it. But the, so then Vince ended up bringing you back shortly thereafter. Finally, so I talked to, I actually talked to Hogan now. And I told Terry what was going on. And Hogan stood up for me. He oh, said, wow. don't you worry, Coco. You're coming back. If you don't come back, I'm quitting WWE. Elf. He said, I'm quitting. Wow. Because you stood up for the business. And Hogan got my job back. 